All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, or good afternoon, depending on how you watch this. So this is week seven, and we're talking about dynamics. So what is dynamics? Uh, force diagrams and applying Newton's law of motion to describe and predict the motion of all the objects based on the forces acting upon it. To better understand the motion of an object. Okay, so we'll do this through notes and assignments and working in the classroom through Pear Deck or polls. So let's take a quick look out at dynamics and force diagrams. Um, what does dynamic mean to you? So dynamic usually means something exciting or energetic, right? Um, so in science, dynamics is the study of accelerating objects and the forces acting upon those objects. Statics is the study of objects that are at rest or in constant velocity. So those are balanced forces. So if we want to model a diagram, model forces, remember a force diagram is a simple sketch showing the magnitude and force and forces of an object in a particular direction. Direction of arrows shows the direction of the force. The length of the arrow is proportional to the magnitude. A lot of times we're going to be using these numbers here. Um, so in this first picture here, you can see that this is an unbalanced force. It has one arrow moving to, uh, to the left. Right, so we have 100 Newtons pushing to the left. There are no other forces that are um, showing this. So this is going to be accelerating. Right, so this is going to be accelerating to the left. All right, accelerating. So it shows an acceleration here. These are balanced forces. So 100 Newtons to the um, to the right. I think I said left on that last one. And 100 Newtons to the left equally balance each other out. Um, so think of it as two people pushing with the same amount of force. This is a balanced uh, uh, force diagram. This object is either not moving, uh, st it's still, or it's moving at a constant velocity. It's no acceleration in this particular case. So balance forces are, ob are here's the definition, balance forces that are opposite in direction and equal in magnitude, the net force is zero. So if I were to draw a box here, my force diagram, and I were to draw an arrow, and let's say that arrow is five Newtons. And I, the reason I write the, the number there is because it's very hard for me to make the same size arrow because the size of the arrow is, makes a big difference. And five Newtons to the right and five Newtons to the left. So if, uh, remember when we're talking about finding that force, if they're going in the opposite direction, I subtract them. So five minus five gives me zero Newtons. So the net force is zero. So this is not an accelerating object, it could be a constant motion object, or it could be an object that is at rest. So unequal forces, another force diagram here, can be lots of different things. It can be arrows 
that are forces that are in the same direction or not equal. So here is an example of the same direction. Let's make this a five Newton force. And let's make this a two Newton force. So like two people pushing to the left or to the right in the same direction. So we add these. So it says here net force is not zero. So this is seven Newtons to the right. And sometimes we display these as we can say seven Newtons and put a plus in there. And plus can be right or up. Negative can be left or down. All right, so here is forces that are in the same direction or not equal. Let's take a look at ones that are not equal. Okay, so I have a force from coming and pushing to the left. with 10 Newtons of force. And I have a force that's pushing to the right with five Newtons of force. Now we subtract those because they are um, going in opposite directions, but you'll notice that 10 minus five gives me five. And I still have five Newtons pushing to the right. Right, so in this particular case, if you think about it, it's something like friction. So this might be force of friction. This could be the applied force, could be the, the waviness or the bumpiness or the uh, coarseness of the, the surface that I'm pushing against. It's not sliding very well. <clears throat> so we always have friction. And friction is everyday currents. And we, without friction, we would not be able to move um, our, at all. Out in space, if you have nothing to, you have no jet pack, which pushes gases out uh, after behind you, you would not be able to make it to a space station. So let's take a look at net forces. Net forces um, is the sum of all forces acting on an object. Don't forget to use negative or positive signs to indicate direction. Negative means down or left, and plus means right or up. Only add uh, opposing forces up and down, left and right. OK, so let's take a look at you have 10 Newtons of drag, you know, so this would be air resistance force moving up. Okay, and we have the gravity with a negative force um, down of 50 Newtons. So what we're gonna do in this particular case is we're going to have negative 50 plus 10 gives us a negative 40 Newtons, all right? So what that says is that the drag is slowing it down and the net force is negative 40 Newtons and negative 40 Newtons says it's going down. So static equilibrium, where forces are balanced, objects at rest, staying still, not moving, and it has a net force of zero Newtons. So notice that all of these arrows, so let's say this um, is sitting on the floor. So this um, three Newtons could be my normal, Okay, this three Newtons could be my applied force. 
this three newtons could be my frictional force and this three newtons could be my gravity force. Okay, because they all are the same, we say that this is at rest. Okay, zero newtons. And that's the definition of static equilibrium. All the forces are balanced, objects at rest, staying still. So let's look at the net force of this object, C. Right, we have two forces here, two forces, one pushing to the left, three newtons, one pushing to the right, five newtons. All right, so when they're opposite, remember, we have to subtract them. So we have five newtons minus three newtons, and we get two newtons. So this is an unbalanced force of two newtons to the right. Okay, and two newtons to the right. And remember, um, plus is to the right, negative is to the left. So this is going to be two newtons to the right. So what is the net force of an object A? Okay, so I'll notice that the forces of to the right and to the left, these are four and four. They cancel each other out. So we have zero newtons here, net force, but we have we have an upward force of six newtons. So that's a plus. And we have a downward uh, force of two newtons, that's a minus. So six minus two, because remember we subtract them when they're in opposite direction. So we have four Newtons. And the plus tells us up. Okay, four Newtons up, four Newtons up. And you can see that um, we could, if it was, <clears throat> If we were, if we, if they weren't balancing each other from the right or left, we would use plus can also be up or right. I'm sorry. All right, which objects are a state of static equilibrium? So when we're looking for static equilibrium, we're looking for the forces all being equal. So here at letter B. This object is rest at rest. It has three newtons, three newtons um, going up, three newtons going down, three newtons going right, and three newtons going. Uh, this one's going right, and three newtons going left. So they cancel each other out. There is a net force of zero. Okay, so object B. Oops. So <clears throat> applying Newton's law of motion, I can use Newton's law of motion, which is force equals mass times acceleration. And I can calculate the acceleration. So if a couch has a mass of 45 kil kilograms, determine its acceleration. Okay, so. Notice that the force of friction on the couch is slowing this down. So we have two forces here. So I have 20 Newtons to the right. And because they're in opposite directions and um, they're different lengths and different forces, I have to subtract them. So I get 15 Newtons. And they've added um, the 45 kilograms. So I'm going to take my final force of 15 Newtons is equal to 45 kilograms times acceleration. 
All right. So to sub to solve this, I'll get 15 newtons divided by 45 equals my acceleration. So 15 divided by 45 is 0.33 meters per second squared to the right. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching that this video. Um, here are your vocabulary words that for this week, dynamics. We've talked about dynamics today. Okay, objects that are accelerating. Statics, objects that are at rest at equilibrium that have a net force of zero. Force diagrams, remember force diagrams show that the box with the arrows, balance forces, have a net force of zero. Okay, they can either be at rest or constant velocity. Unbalanced forces show an acceleration. Okay, net forces, remember net forces, if they are opposite, to each other, we have to subtract, and they give us a, a number that um, is greater than zero if if it's moving. Static equilibrium, net net zero. Okay, all the forces are are balanced, and this object is at rest. All right. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much.